Everything in the universe is made of three parts, a beginning, a middle, and an end. Well, so they say. Take a laser power meter, for example. It consists of three parts. One, sensor, the transducer that receives the laser beam and produces some type of electrical signal that represents the beam's power, or energy, or whatever parameters we're measuring. We'll just keep using the word power. Two, some sort of processing. This looks at the sensor's signal, looks at some other stuff, calibration data, for example, and converts the signal into a digital reading of the laser beam's power. Three, display converts the digital reading from part two into a numerical or graphical output that can be read by, for example, a human user. A typical handheld laser power meter combines the processing and the display in one instrument. An externally connected sensor produces an output signal. The meter receives the sensor's output signal, processes and interprets it to produce a reading of laser power, and then figures out how to turn that reading into a numeric or graphical display on the meter screen. Sometimes you might not need part three though. If you do all your work connected to a PC, for example, it can do the displaying. You'll need the sensor and the processing. But if your PC can take care of the displaying, then you don't need that in your laser power meter. You can then end up with a smaller and cheaper instrument. Ophir's new Juno Plus is exactly that. It's a full-blown laser power meter, just without the built-in display. The PC becomes your display. You'll either have the PC running Ophir's StarLab software application, or maybe you'll communicate with the Juno Plus from your own software system via our COM object interface. Either way, you've got a precision instrument with almost zero footprint. It's just slightly larger than the sensor's smart connector and all your interaction with it is via your PC. The Juno Plus is plug-and-play with all standard Ophir smart sensors. It's powered from USB, so it needs no external power supply. It provides analog output as well. It lets you record pulse energies of every pulse at up to 10 kilohertz. It also supports position and size measurements with Ophir's beam track sensors, pulsed power measurements, for measuring high powers using short exposure with low power sensors. Low frequency power for measuring average power of VIXELs and similar low power, slowly pulsed sources. To learn more, contact Ophir directly or via your local Ophir representative or visit our website.